I pray right now for the fresh release of God's help. He said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. I ask women trusting God for the fruit of those who present things, points of contact. Everything that is a demonic mystery behind fruitlessness. And everyone who is trusting God for the blessing of the work of their hands, you can also trust God. Every mystery behind fruitlessness. Any mystery behind barrenness, whether it is from your father's side, your mother's side, whether it's from the curse from a witch or a wizard, whether it's a biological factor, an anatomical situation, a physiological factor, a biochemical factor, male factor, female factor, blood fallopian tube, endometriosis, endometritis. Endometrial cyanic, hyperprolactinemia, blood fallopian tubes, low sperm count. He covered a galaya, everything that is a mystery behind barrenness, fruitlessness, childlessness. Today, the mystery is arrested in the name of Jesus and return back to hell. I said some time ago, listen, don't, don't forget this. Everybody met Jesus for prayer. The blind met him. The deaf met him. He made the lame to walk. He cleansed lepers. Healed the woman with the issue of blood. The only miracle in the New Testament that we did not see that was not explained or written or documented was that a woman came to Jesus saying, I don't have a child. And then he said, receive your fruit of the womb. We didn't see that. I, maybe you have read that. I've read the Bible many, 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 many times. And one day I said, why? Was it that there's, there were no barren women? Or he didn't, have, he didn't want to pray for barren women? I realized that his birth without the meeting of a man and a woman and yet he was born was an attack on barrenness. That no reason is reasonable enough for anybody not to bring forth children. If I can be born without a man meeting a woman Anybody can be born despite any condition in a man or a woman. So it looks like he, as he arrived, barrenness devil ran from that generation. That if I can be born now, so I stand there by the mystery that brought Jesus to birth without the meeting of a man and a woman. By that mystery, I declare the mystery of barrenness over forever. The mystery of childlessness, the mystery of fruitlessness. It is mystery versus mystery. In the name of Jesus, by the authority of the Jesus that was born of a virgin Mary without the meeting of a man and a woman that destroyed every reason why a person shouldn't be born. I decree by that mystery, every mystery of barrenness die now. Go and bring forth your children. There are some listening to me right now. You wake up in the morning, go straight and test yourself. You have the test kit in, in your hand, test yourself. I declare today, you will be returning back with your testimonies. You have had miscarriages many, many times. Somebody is in the middle of a miscarriage right now. I declare shame on that devil. That pregnancy will go to them and bring forth. Somebody you have seen your menstrual cycle once or twice or thrice. But the pregnancy is still on. You have seen, you have seen your bleeding. 
like once or twice within, but the pregnancy is still on. You will confirm and let us know. Hey! I announce, I decree today, go forth, bring forth your children, singleton, twins, triplets, return back with your testimony. And everybody laboring without reward, laboring without fruit. The Bible says, in every labor there is profit. I declare the profit of, of your labor, the fruit of your labor, the result of your labor is in your hands right now. I arrest the spirit of masturbation. Laos, Sapero, Nagayala, Gala, a G name. You are free today. And every other person connected with that demon, you are free today. I arrest the spirit of addiction, marijuana addiction, cocaine addiction, crack addiction. Almost selling everything to, to the addiction. I declare that yoke is broken right now. Wealthy man, wealthy, wealthy, wealthy man. But your life is run down with addiction. Today, I declare the yoke is broken. And everyone who is in this, in this challenge of addiction, the last time, by the time you sleep and wake up in the morning, your taste board and appetite for the addictive substance, whether it's cocaine, crack, marijuana, whether it is alcoholism, tobacco, the, 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 the taste is gone forever. In the name of Jesus, I curse the, the spirit of cancer. Again, with the, with, with, with the lymph node. In that armpit, I cause it to its roots, and the fruit of the womb has been released in the name of Jesus. The spirit of cancer is gone. Kidney failure is dead. Liver cancer is dead. Ikoto Baratana Galayada. I take authority over the spirit of paralysis. Somebody is totally invalid. You sleep and you wake up in the morning walking. Hey! The lion of the tribe of Judah is here. Many years ago, this will be like 22 years ago, the theme of the vigil in the rear one was tied to the lion of the tribe of Judah. In the middle of the night, I said, the lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring now. The lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring now. And when the lion roars, every beast of the forest takes cover. A woman was in the, was in the church. Her seven-year-old daughter was paralyzed with her mother in Lagos. This girl, they wore her pampas. She urinates the fecus without control. In the middle of the night, while we're in Abuja here, and I said, the lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring now. In the middle of the night, the little girl woke up at that, around that same time and saw a man in white walking towards her. And the man said, baby, wait, stand up and walk. And the baby looked. Who is this? Baby, stand up and walk. And the baby stood up from the lying position and walked. And the man disappeared. And baby went back to sleep and woke up in the morning. Grandma was in the kitchen. And baby walked to grandma. Grandma, good morning. She fainted first. And to start with, she fainted first. When she got up, Grandma, good morning. What happened to you? She gave the story. Two years ago, we were in Lagos for the crusade at the church area there. And the mother brought the girl. Said, this is that seven-year-old girl that was paralyzed. Now she's in the university. She was paralyzed from meningitis or something. Totally crippled. You see, I'm so excited that a miracle of 20 years ago is standing till today. I am saying this because there is somebody watching right now. By the time you wake up in the morning, you are waking up on your feet. Somebody, your loved one, by the time they wake up in the morning, they are waking up on their feet. Whatever you couldn't do right now, by the time you wake up in the morning, you will be shocked that you are doing the same thing. Shout the loudest, amen. Tonight the Lord showed me 
that has satanic embargo that is placed on your finances that says you shouldn't cross, you shouldn't go. And the Lord showed me somebody. He said, God has called you. You have a calling. A calling where you don't want the gospel to suffer. Right? The kind of person that will say, how much is the bill for this crusade? Now, I, I signed the check of it. How much is the bill for this church to be built? Help that man there. And so the devil said, if we allow this man to have money, the kingdom of darkness will suffer. If we allow this woman to have money, the kingdom of darkness will suffer. It will be too good for the church. Hey, I stand here by the mantle of God. God has shown it to you in revelations, in visions. You've seen yourself in that realm. The little you have, you have been able to do some things. I prophesy today that embargo is lifted. That yoke is broken. The limitation is over. Under the next five days, God is going to give you a test. He's going to try you with a release. And what you do with that release is going to determine the next level. In the name of Jesus, receive now. The conspiracy from the pit, from the kingdom of darkness to frustrate your service to God is over. I see someone whose father is an old cult, like an old cult grandmaster. Almost like a native doctor himself. He's part of the conspiracy that limited your life. That made it impossible for you to cross to the realm you want to cross it in God. But I stand there by a superior mantle against that devil of the occult master. I declare the yoke is broken from a native doctor family resisting your service of God. The yoke is broken. Witchcraft, household witchcraft. Where they vow that nothing should touch your hands. That witchcraft power is broken. And I thank you because it is done. It is done. God has visited you. And tomorrow night will be whole family visitation. Visitation, visitation. Where God will pull you out and use you to pull out your family. Link up all, everyone you know who is connected, related, associated with you. Send them the link. Send them, possibly, the credit across the whole world. And it's a new day. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering. I see a heavy downpour. Lift your hands. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. We give you the worship, the supremacy, dominion and rule, and sovereignty. Be glorified, be honored, be adored. Everywhere you are watching from all around the world, you need to surrender to Jesus. Pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. From today I go forward ever and backward never. Grace to live for you and serve you, I receive it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Let's know that you prayed the prayer just now. Stretch your two hands in front of you, everyone. I prophesy upon your hands. I declare that your harvest will look for you. What is yours, no devil shall keep back. In Jesus' precious name, it is done. Amen. Go on ahead and honor God. Pick up your offerings, tithes, and pledges. Those watching online, this is on the screen. Please sit down on how you can give. Our time is far spent. While you are doing the giving, we get set with the anointing oil. Oil of fruitfulness. How do we get that? Psalm 92 verse 10. My horn shall thou exalt like the horns of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Then you keep going. With this fresh oil, I will see my desire of my enemies. With this fresh oil, the righteous shall flourish like the cedar in Lebanon. With this fresh oil, they, they, they shall flourish in the court of our God. With this fresh oil, they shall still bring forth fruit, even if they were old. Fruitfulness in life and in destiny. Get that oil ready. And I prophesy upon the communion as well. I decree today, in the name of Jesus, we'll start with the communion. In the name of Jesus. The body and the blood of the one 
who couldn't be fruitless and who broke the plague of barrenness by his birth and who contrary to all biology was born contrary to all physiology was born by the blood of Jesus and by the body of Jesus everything that is contrary to your fruitfulness everything that is contrary to your productivity I declare it is broken in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus against the plague of barrenness against the spirit of empty handedness against dryness of hand in the name of the Father not the Son not the Holy Ghost Amen